Hey there, it's Alfire here, and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. So, uh, last time we did our initial, uh, infiltration of Shido's Palace. Ooh, God, what, what does that do? I'm not going to, okay, I, I was looking through and thinking about ordering stuff, but that looks really nice, so... So we're just going to do a quick... Oh. We're just going to play some more games since we're locked into okay. the... Uh, well then. LeBlanc tonight. I'm using cheats. What the oven? Maturing. Good job. Hey, once we change Shido's heart. Uh, no, never mind. Uh, forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya. Yep. No problem. I didn't get a chance to kind of make fun of you, so, but it's still fine. sleep. I'm being good. <sighs> yeah. Hey. What's wrong? Okay, quiet down. Well, I'm working on it. I'm trying to fix it. Hey, 
Are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Uh, don't worry about it. Welcome. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> nah, still fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? <laughs> Long time no see. Same to you. Wait, that's not my point. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Oh, thank goodness. I'm just so happy. No one cares about my scheme. You, well, you're kind of close. Looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety? Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. <gasps> what a refined response. Are we really around the same age? <laughs> you know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... Uh... <laughs> I was wondering that, too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader, but if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like yours, Senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Senpai? Oh, shit. Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but... We really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well. I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you. She is such a sweetheart. <laughs> is that a name to me? Don't know what you're talking about. That man can't even hit on go to school, you know. This would all be for nothing if we if they found out he's still alive. 
This thing sucks to live your life like you just though. Always having to hide your face. It's a gorilla. I'm sure it is. No doubt it's hard as well. Please bear with me, man. Don't try too hard to hide yourself. Don't stand that one. There's all that's always the hardest. Try hard, but not too hard. Okay. Yoshihito Wakasa. Hmm. No, we're not going to the palace right now. So we acquired that mission. First, let's go to the airshop saw and sell some stuff. Oh, it's freezing. Yo. Okay. You should be grateful. Actually keep that one. You should be grateful. All right. All right. Which one? There is more powerful stuff. Got a really popular model in. A little bit lower accuracy, but a high chance to rage upon this if you're doing melee attack. It's going to be a minute before. It'll be early December, whenever. So we're n we're not going to be going to the mementos for a minute. Uh, come again. Okay, I'm not going to upgrade my weapons. I'm going to go up to Shinjuku to sell some of the uh, dirty. Uh, not. I can see it. Wrong one. I meant we're going to go to uh, Kichijoku. Welcome. That's all I had. I thought I had more.
Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to be at uh, the school gate. Let's head to the rooftop. Good day. I want to see the vegetables. <laughs> I mean, it's just great to be able to do 100 SP on all of them, so. December 1st. And we're also going to hang out with her. Good day. change. Um. Looked into Takakura-san, but I didn't manage to find very much beyond the initial rumors. Several people I asked said that he often complained about my father, but just as many seem to say the exact opposite. One side has to be deceived me, correct? I'm honestly suspicious of everyone at this point. The correct option is uh, the middle one. Ed. Somebody's telling the truth. Yes. A T. If there's two contradictory stories, one of them has to be right. I suppose I'll need to learn the truth of the matter myself. To be honest, Takakura-san has been pushing the marriage particularly hard lately. He says it will help uh, provide vital backup for myself and Okamura Foods, both in public and in private. He even started asking uh, Sugimura-san into, er, into the important uh, company meetings. We have a contract. Does that mean it's already too late? Is marrying him my only option? Though now that I think about it, that may be my best chance to help the employees of my father left behind. Correct option is the third one here. Right. Perhaps I shouldn't get up so easily. Either way, graduation is quickly approaching. I need to decide my course of action soon now. You know, before you came along, I hadn't even considered not going through with this marriage. I believe I would simply marry the man my father had chosen and let the rest of my life pass me by. I wonder what would happen if my father didn't have a palace. Would I just resign myself to the fate that he had made for me? Ooh, that is not correct. Yes. It is the the third option is the one you're supposed to select. This, luckily enough, this one still gives you two. Uh, it's close, but it's not the full. Someday I can just look out to sea with a nice cup of coffee and forget about all this. We're keeping now, shall we return? Home? Empress, so we're still where we're supposed to be there. Up. 
Yep, it's all real. Ah, you're back. I don't care about Shido or Keshi right now. No, we're not gonna go mess with that. We're just going to the nearest velvet room. What are you gonna do today? No. Individual, the individual responsible for your successful rehabilitation in your own world. This is a person of great importance. As your wardens, we would be remiss to forego meeting with this person. Take us to your master immediately. Okay. Let's go, inmate. Onward, inmate. What kind of person could your master be? Lead the way, so we will find out. what that is, but we will politely accept your offer. There you go. What in the world is this? The rest is slowly being absorbed by this sludge. Oh, man. Sludge, really? Wait. Have you really never had this before? Scent isn't bad at all. In fact, it's rather appetizing. What are these poisonous looking red chunks that long get you? It's called Gugujin Zuke. Gugujin. What? It's an optional flavoring for your career. You, they call it uh, that because of the seven gods of fortune, the Shichi Fukujin. What? You chopped up a god to make this? <laughs> yeah. So this is dyed with the blood of a god? What are these kids going on about? <laughs> you don't want to know. Slayer. Let us pray, pay our proper respect and happily eat our sludge. <laughs> it's so spicy. My mouth is on fire. Why is it so spicy? Yes. I agree. No. Mm. But it seems I cannot stop myself. It's spicy, huh? Not bad. I think it could stand to be a little sweeter though. I must say, I do feel this curry sledge filling both my body and spirit timbers. Eating this every day would no doubt support your rehabilitation immensely. Be grateful to that godslayer for sheltering you and mate. If you were to cross him, he'd chop you up for this next garnish. I should get going. We're gonna have to get Futabas in ready. They want coffee, you know how to make it. Okay, 
It's up to you, Sunlight. He just nopes out. He doesn't care. He's like, yeah, I'll just give this felon kid, who's not bad, for coffee. I believe that was served at the slave camp as well. All right, Emmy, serve us coffee. Hmm. Why is everything on the god slave menu so murky? The smell's not bad, though. It's more satisfying than we previously experienced as well. And now for a test of... Come, 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 come. <sighs> it's better. Is this poison? We have oak and sugar. Yeah, what are those? I've heard of them both. Supposedly, they are magical white-colored additives that can enhance the taste of this icky abomination. I shall demand those additives. <laughs> Oh, this powder dissolves immediately, no matter how much I had. Almost. A little more. That perfect balance of black and white is almost there. Hmm, there's no left. I don't believe I, that I quite reached the harmony of black and white, but there's is nothing more that can be done. Now for a test sip. It's so sweet. There is an intriguing, crunchy texture here. <laughs> However, it does appear it does have its own unique effect. I mean it's not exotic food. Yep, we have exceeded expectations. Not bad for an inmate. Curry and coffee. This is kind of excessive, just like, oh, Shido, 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 it's like, okay, I get that he's the bad guy. Okay, let's keep going. School gate, because we're going to go hang out with Harvard again. No, we're not me. Let's get it. Rooftop. Good day. So there are eight different ways to roast coffee beans. Apparently the light roast is the most acidic. It says here that the type of roast you want to uh, should differ depending on how you want to drink your coffee. So you can select the first or the third often. <laughs> I love it. I don't think I could ever hope to match the intense depth of Sakura-san's coffee. I mean, I'm a pretty badass coffee maker myself, but... And I'm talking about joking, not me. Let's be honest. I actually am not a coffee person. You know, Okamura's food didn't start out as Burger King. Originally, it was nothing more than a small cafe run by my grandfather. That particular shop closed before I was old enough to appreciate the finer intricate 
intricacies of coffee. But that's where our real origin of our family business lies. Uh, first prompt here, I had no idea. I knew that my father only first mentioned it to me a year or two ago. Um. At any rate, after my father's pass, the company shut down the cafe due to its steady loss of revenue. He had never cared about turning a profit though, his only goal was to make people happy. He built a strong community around the cafe. He'd even give out free meals to those who couldn't afford it. Then the day it closed, people lined up for blocks uh, to get flowers. They really loved that place. I wonder how many people would line up for Big Bang Burger if it's uh, someone went out of business. I know we need to do well to keep our employees paid, but I can't help but think we lost something important. I mean, Takakura-san seems to be focused on profits. At this rate, we'll never lose our black image. Uh, the last two options, either one of these. <laughs> black, black coffee. Huh? Huh? Oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm funny. You were trying to cheer me up, weren't you? Thanks for that. I think what I really need is to get strong. I mean, I can act tough in front of my employees, but you know how weak I am, it's old. And? I have a plan, though. Before I can really determine who I trust, I first need to know what it means to have others trust me. So I'm going to get stronger. Strong enough for you and the others to rely on me. Good. great at public speaking and just giving my opinion makes me a little nervous. Or huh? Shikimara-san, what are you doing here? I was just heading home from a business engagement when I saw you from my car window. Hmm. Do I know you from somewhere? Ugh. You're one of those brats from before. Um... This is a friend from school. He's helping me look for some books today. Anyway, we should be getting back to our shopping. Please excuse us. Hold on, Hart. Do you think you can go on a date with another man and leave your fiancé in the dust? You are not my fiancé. I already said, I'm not going to marry you. Oh yeah? And what about the contract I made with your father? Your father is no longer here. Besides, marriage is something you go into with your own free will. The contract could never hold the same weight. Are you sure about that? Think about the repercussions for us. If you back out of the dough now, you will lose everything you own. Okamar Foods, your estate. Even so, I... And what about your employees? Are you really willing to put their jobs on the line for the sake of your selflessness? selfishness? Besides, this marriage is exactly what Okamar Foods needs right now. My father would have no trouble managing your shares or sweeping away your company's tarnished image. That reminds me, did Takakura-san uh, tell you about the wedding hall? He got us the Phoenix Wing at the Wilton. Huh? We made a provisional reservation for 10 days this uh, coming spring. After all, the sooner the better. Wait a minute. Well, we'll have to look into your our uh, guest schedules as well. There'll be over 300 of them, you know. Takakura-san can handle Okamar Foods in the meantime. Why don't you go stop by the gym or something, Hart? I mean, if you have time to mess around with this punk, you damn well have time to get a little dinner. I'm out of here. Can I go, Dagum? Both are the same, but... That guy's fucking horrible. Um. You're not wrong about that. The other thing, fame, intelligence, etiquette... The only thing he needs now is a wife he can control. And I guess I'm the perfect target. He's going to get open more food as well as my entire, 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 great speaking. And I'm totally powerless against him. Correct answer is be strong, hard. We're going to get you out of it. You're up. 
I can't afford to drag myself down with such negativity. Thank you. Um. Anyway, I'm, I hope I can share with you again some other time. Today, though, I'm rather tired. Would it be okay if we parted here? I mean, I'm, of course, going to walk you to the station. It's only flight. Oh. I'm really sorry for the sudden call again. Uh, the thing is, Sugumar reached out to me again after we saw him. I'd rather not talk to him, but I couldn't stand him using the company to threaten you or even speaking about later. The negativity felt so painful, too much to handle on, and before I knew it, I was already calling you. First two options. You can talk to me anytime. Hearing that makes me so happy. Thank you. Even though I promised myself I'd get stronger, I suppose I'm still just depending on you. But still, I can't help but worry about the contract. I'm frustrated. I can't let him keep manipulating me like a puppet. I have to find some way I can change this. Talking to you is helping me calm down. Thank you, really. We'll talk about this again soon. We finally got a free day that we can go out. Now, right now, we are two ranks behind the devil, who's actually not available, which is interesting. So let's try to make a little bit of... Reason. I won't work. for the ones that I skip, uh, like uh, the ones that somehow I got missed. Yeah, definitely gonna hang out with them. <laughs> Gotta hang out with my other dad. There we go. Hey. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in finding it, let me know right away. This is us going to rank nine. Be careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. The thing's an antique. I'm not going to sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. Oh, and about Suda? I heard he got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out about what happened. Serves him right, huh? Best option is, are you sure he's still alive? Yeah. I think so. Pretty big belief, assuming it's true. I mean, sure, that bastard pissed me off, but I never once wish he'd up and die. This whole thing's been real crazy, though. I mean, Suda used to be the role model of upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times are changing. Hello? Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda. Huh? Wait, what? The hell are you doing? Hey! You motherfucker. Hey, hold on. <sighs> Damn it. That bastard Moss has abducted Kyrus. Cover you, okay. Uh, there, each other option is fine. Uh, actually, uh, the next few responses aren't going to be. He 
damn well better be or else Moss is a dead man. God, piece of shit. He knew about Suda's failure the whole time. I bet he was just waiting for a chance like this. Let's kill him, shop. Right. They're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Shit. Come on, let's go. Hey. Let Kyra go. Take it easy, Mooney son. All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right, Kaoru? Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he. <clears throat> Kaoru. Man, ain't he a, just a great kid? Either option will give you the same. What's your goal here, Masa? And what are you? Winnie's little errand boy? Wait, I remembered you. You're that weirdo from the diner. Hey! I said, let Kaoru go. Fuck off. I heard you the first time. So what are you going to make me do? Great question. You know those modded guns you were going to give to Suda? It'd be really nice to, to get my hands on them. There's a lieutenant spot open now with, that suit is gone, but I still need to prove my worth before I can get in. And you're gonna help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Masa, but you got some real shit time. We just broke them all down. There's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything about the Karakun situation. <laughs> what? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? Don't you remember what I told you in the car, Kaoru About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it? Tell me. Tell me, Dad. I can handle the truth. <sighs> that ain't true. I'm trying to protect you here. <laughs> this family bullshit is real touching all, but we're supposed to be negotiating here. Remember? Why don't we start with the delivery date? The sooner, the better in my book. Shit. God damn it. Oh, don't give me that shit. None of this would happen if you didn't go and take that bread in. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Kaoru. Either option it is the same. You need to trust your son. Just sounds better. Hey, what are you chatting about over there? Yo. Kaoru, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a long while, and it's probably, and you're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your real parents didn't die in a car crash. <sighs> you were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you really freaking told him, Munasan. He's not lying, Kairokun. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell you to us uh, just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yep. Then when Mune-san here wasn't buying, she just jumped you and ran. And that's how you ended up with a Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ah, uh, that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day long. Couldn't wait to see you look on your face when you found out. Man, this is like who freaking who? How sad. <laughs> Enough. All that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I'd never let some stupid secret like that get to me. So what if my mom dumped me? Or if my dad was part of the accusing? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the kick. And you know what? I don't care what that means, uh, what you have to say about us. I'm me, and Mune Hisai Iwai is my dad. <sighs> Attaboy, Kaoru. Listen, Masa, let's get the putting into this right here, right now. We can start fresh. You still don't get it, do you? Kaoru Coons? No, Masa, you're the one who doesn't get it. You really fucked up this time. Oh? Suda? Suda, I mean, sir? Don't give me that. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You'd never have been good at keeping your mouth shut. 
No, it was me. Uh huh. And what do you think you're doing waving that knife out, huh? I'm sorry. Kid's got guts, man. He likes father like son, huh? Yo. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by uh, making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought much about what comes after that. All I already know is this is where we say goodbye, Mune. <clears throat> Take care, Suda. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. I guess you're maturing quicker than I even realized. Uh, the first or the third option? He's a cool kid, huh? <laughs> Damn right he is, though he ain't much of a kid anymore. You know, I've been busy, so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me that I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. <laughs> I can't believe I'm only just realizing it now. <laughs> Appreciate it. And it's all thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it, for real. All right. No extra bonus. Hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to that diner? <laughs> you seriously eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up taller than me someday. Let's go. Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. I've been adopted twice. <laughs> the three of us enjoyed a peaceful dinner together. Yo, it's sorry. It's me, sorry for what that whole mess back there. I'm glad Kyra's safe and all, but man, he ended up with a hell of an appetite after that. Sure was some connected by the gecko, huh? The kid must have grown into a man while I wasn't looking. So you can pick the first or the second option, but gecko pods go beyond blood. <laughs> what the hell are you even talking about? But I guess he might be right. Symbol of protection for the home and the family. And somehow the gecko actually did end up protecting my family. Sounds too perfect to be real. Uh, after going down to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. But somehow it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Thanks, Sunfire. You did some great work. <laughs> you got me saying all this sappy shit. Damn right embarrassing. I gotta go get some air. Cool down a little. Alright, later. Hey. One day is we really don't have time to relax, you know. We're fine, we're fine. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, home shopping is available. I don't think there's a recommendation, but let's check out. Yaki Emo said. Do some SP items. How much is that uh, yucky? Hey, hey! It's only ten thousand, but it did have some. Uh... Yeah, but anytime I have access to an SP item, I'm going to get it. Okay, so that's first. Hey. Don't worry, I ain't gonna get in no trouble. Hi, Kutaba. I'm pretty sure I'm right where I'm supposed to be for all of those. Uh, but there is a. No, not over here. This guy. Hi there. Legendary. Mm. 
so this should be the traitor. One of those two should be the traitor of the uh, traitor Sakai guy. So let's go over here. Yeah, of course he would want the good one. I don't like to hang out with you, you shithead. Slow down. But yes, we are going to hang out with Yusuke. And that will actually max him out. Moreover, it was accepted. He was already in the exhibition and is actually going to be on. Come, let's go. It is being held at the same museum as last time. This case painting won the competition. Well, I still have much to learn, but I finally painted something that I can be satisfied with. Yes, this is the true heart of humanity. The title is Desire and Hope. What do you think? So, uh, as a max rank, you can pick anything. So, I like. So, you added hope. Well, I added aspects that were previously lacking. This light is all of you. The title lists hope, but in my mind, it's a much more concrete thing. I can't believe I didn't realize that until now. Mmm. You. It's a good painting. Huh? It's not trying to be eccentric for the sake of being eccentric, like the last time. To think the same painting can change this much. So this is the answer you've come up with. It is. Desire and hope, I see. Beauty and ugliness. Humans are creatures that possess both. It seems you understand that. What are you playing at? I apologize, although my intent was to encourage you. It was rather crude. Still, I believe that this ploy needed to be done in order to ignite your competitive spirit. But why would you do that? What's your objective? I wanted to do something for you as another person who is free from Matarame's chains. That's all. Huh? Matarame held a grudge against me for supposedly stealing his customers from him. To start, I couldn't get anyone to rent me space for exhibits. He caused me no end of hardship. So that's why. Yes, the heart of man is painted with desire, even if it's coated entirely in black at times. However, it seems you have the strength to not look away from it, and chose to stand up against it. If only he had your strength. Matarame and I go back a long way. First as classmates, then as teachers at the same art school. He used to have a noble spirit. Said he wanted to aim for the top of the art world one day. Huh? But in the end, even the art world has its share of politics. Those who are cunning win. Our hearts were stained black in that manner. But the human heart is a strange thing. It can't completely separate black from white. I was shocked when I heard that he took you in. He never liked children, you see. Oh? This happened just before we cut all ties from each other. But I got a call from him. He was panicking that nearby clinics were closed and that his kid had a fever. Sensei.
Yeah. I don't want any more losers like me, or misguided winners like him being born from this world. That's why I started this foundation. So how about it? Would you like our support? <laughs> Without the overbearing marketing production, of course. It's a truly kind offer. Thank you for your generosity. However, I must respectfully decline. Huh. What makes you say that? I am not Madarame. I won't be stained by desire. After all, I can see hope. If I am lost, they will extend their hands. If I am wrong, they will chastise me. As long as I have my rays of hope to guide me, I will be fine. Ha! Madarame really did have a good eye. <laughs> what a strange man. You're a stranger. For declining his offer? It is a tad wasteful of me to decline. Still, I believe it's for the best. I feel contradictory, but that's the human heart, correct? <sighs> Interesting. That's exactly what I should be painting. It must have been troublesome dealing with me. But yeah. for some reason, I knew that you wouldn't abandon me until everything was said and done. Thank you, my friend. I am by back. Dude, that's so much. Persona within me has awakened to a new power. All right. Kamu Susano. Now that I'm out of my slump, I need to make up for the time I wasn't able to paint. I reiterate my promise to you. I'll extend my assistance to you. Should you ever stumble. Now then, shall we go? In order for me to learn more about the heart, we need to work hard on our thief business. Can we talk about that in the middle of a crowded gallery? Evade fire. That is a nice choice. Don't worry, there is a purpose of keeping Yusuke all equipped because... Ah, you're back. Yusuke will see some more action. Okay, so we have another free night tonight. <sighs> and we are actually... I mean, if we can hang out with... Let's go ahead and just finish up, because uh, this gets us caught back up to... Okay, we've officially caught up the hangman again. without the putting anyone behind. I learned a lot about myself, so I just wanted to show my appreciation. <laughs> Intruding in on another private family moment. You're still droning on about that? I mean, it was quite a shock. But that's what made you take me in, right? So who cares? Whoa there, kiddo. If you had just told me all of this sooner, you wouldn't have been threatened. Who your parents are and where you come from stays with you for your entire life. Thanks to my loser parents, I got bullied by complete strangers and... My father isn't a loser, though. He's a brilliant business owner. <sighs> Shucks. <laughs> I want to make fun of you, I... He's kind of slow. Stop trying to ruin the moment. 
Uh, so in the end, I was just fighting my own demons. Stuck in my crappy childhood and all the problems I had growing up. My view of Kalru was all distorted because of my rotten childhood memories. I forgive you. Wow, you really matured, huh? Why did you help my father out? He told me you gathered info about Sudasan for him. You willingly got involved in a Yakuza dispute. Would someone normally take that big of a risk? Yeah, I can't leave. Hmm. I'd understand if you were a member of the Phantom Thieves. Fighting for the underdogs, like a gentleman thief. You know, people have their own opinions, but I think the Phantom Thieves are super cool. I mean, the sexual harassment incident involving that teacher? You gotta go, Kaoru. The supermarket's about to close. Aren't you in charge of dinner tonight? Oh, crap! Uh, please excuse me! <laughs> Kids grow up quick. They can be a pain in the ass, but <laughs> they're worth it. All right, let's close up shop. Go pull down the shutter. Suda changed rather suddenly, huh? Seems like he had a change of heart. Just like them people they've been talking about on TV. I can't be the only one who was saved by his change of heart. Wonder who else knows. And we'll be right. <laughs> I wonder. Well, don't worry. It ain't really none of my concern. Man, you really had me fooled. That whole thing about being an enthusiast was all just BS. No. I hired you as a mere pawn, and now you're Kaoru's bro. The Phantom Thieves are using my guns to take down bad guys, aren't they? They help people in need, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. All right. I'm gonna put all my effort into that special menu we talked about. I don't like to owe nobody nothing, so I'll do my best for you. Because that's the kind of support I can provide. I bow. Free gun customizations. All right. All right. All right. She is an Addis, the most powerful hanged person. But what the hell are you gonna do with a model gun? You need a real gun in a shootout, and the knives are just replicas. They're even less useful than a butter knife, you know. <laughs> You're such a weirdo. I mean, we're changing hearts with that. We were in the middle of closing shop, weren't we? Well, let's get to it. See ya. Okay. was wanting to go all the way till the end of November, but we've already been in an hour, so. I'll just get to a point I can save and we'll end the episode here. What that? Huh? It's hard, but uh, We'll continue on, finish up uh, November in the next episode, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Thank you all for watching. Bye. -bye.